course I want to smoke outside and of course the when I want to smoke outside train goes by but how's it going everybody on YouTube as you can see we are outside today in my backyard um, if you hear a couple dogs trying to play, trying to get me to play and stuff like that, I apologize ahead of time. Kind of wanted to do this outside today for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a beautiful day here in uh, on the central coast of California. Um, most, you know, I've, I said I think I've said it before. I live in uh, San Luis Obispo County in uh, California and. Uh, where I'm at is <clears throat> just about 20 minutes away from the ocean, but it does get very warm. There's a pretty decent size uh, mountain range between us and the ocean. It goes up to a couple thousand feet, I think. And I, I don't know if it's a couple, it's gotta be at least 2,000 feet, if not a little bit more. So we don't get a lot of the coastal, um, you know, weather here during the summertime, but the springtime is gorgeous. Um, I planted some, I got some plants, I got some tomatoes, some peppers and things like that over the over the weekend. And uh, so I planted some of those and maybe I'll show you those. And no one on YouTube has seen my backyard yet. So that's where we are, we're in the backyard. But. Today is Codger Blend. Codger Blend review. So my third, this is my third Codger Blend review so far and if you guys have been following along you know that we are reviewing velvet today and i got this little uh little corn cob that's kind of like a <clears throat> devil ants sort of cutty thing this is where i've been smoking the the most of the codger blends in i'm gonna throw this frisbee for the dog real quick and uh, the reason for that is because Half and half and velvet kind of have the same uh, sort of topping on it, that licorice -y type topping, right? Which is okay. Um, I don't hate it, I don't love it, so I'm just gonna try to fix this quick. This feels like it's tilted a little. Um, I don't hate it, I don't love it, but uh, sorry about that. This table I got my camera, my phone sitting on isn't the most solid. Um, so, you know, I'm not a big fan of the, the anise, the anise, whatever, um, whatever it is, it's, it's, uh, I don't mind it when I'm smoking it, I don't like the smell, when I open the bag, I'm like, oh, and I remember thinking with half and half, and with velvet, um, I remember thinking like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, well, Turns out it's uh, not really too bad at all. Um, hey, can you go lie down, please? I got a Queensland, and she doesn't. Uh, she does pretty much what she wants. Um, so, the 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 anise, it's okay. Um, it's the like I said, the smell in the bag is much worse than the actual. Um, you know sm the actual flavor while I'm smoking it so it's okay gosh I just can't this is why I do everything in the garage because it's like uh, I got everything set up it's all good to go already there that's better um, so velvet uh, I think that I uh, you know I do I do the thing the only thing that I don't like about it is the smell when I open the bag I like the flavor, I like the cut, I like the smoking characteristics. Smoke's cool. It it's just a it's a good smoke. And the, the anise, like I said, doesn't it doesn't come through um, even not nearly as much as uh, sorry, even not nearly as much as half and half did. 
um, the flavor in that half and half came through much more. And, and I didn't, you know, I was okay with half and half. I thought it was, it was fine. I like velvet better. So I think for the next, uh, I'm gonna try to probably order three more Codra blends. So I think probably what I'll get is uh, something like Carter Hall, maybe a Captain Black, maybe a Borkham Riff, you know, something like that. I'll just go online and find a few and order them up. There's not, there's no rhyme or reason to, you know, how I'm gonna be doing things or what, but. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna, you know, I'll just figure out three random blends and and get them, and then uh, go from there. I apologize if I'm not 100% in the middle of frame. What I do is I turn my phone around because the camera on the back of the phone is is better than the camera on the front, but obviously I can't see, so I just kind of take a guess. So anyway, I think where I would, I think out of the three that I've done so far, I think I like, um, I think I like one Q the best, then velvet, then half and half so far. Maybe I'll do like a little ranking system and I apologize. I didn't, you know, I didn't, what I didn't do ahead of time, which I, I just completely forgot was I didn't get any, um, history on velvet, you know, how it was came about, how it was made, anything like that. You know, I, I think I, I like doing that kind of stuff, but at the same time, you know, my videos are always kind of a little bit long, which I only do, you know, a couple of months anyway, but I don't I don't want videos to be 30 minutes long, you know? So. Anyway. I think it's a good tobacco. I do, I like it, it, it you know. It's not gonna replace any of my, you know, any of my, I don't know, premium blends. But uh, I think, you know, if I was gonna be gone for a few days or something like that, just to grab a pouch of uh, velvet and a pipe or two, I think I'd be totally fine. And I, you know, I'll, I smoke it here a few times a week, but uh, these, uh, these codger blends, you know, they're, to me, I always get the feeling of, well, you know, you grab it, you know, you, you grab it and you, you know, it's like if you're going on a trip or something like that. And if it, you know, cause it's not going to dry out that easy. You know, I've just had it in the bag. It's, this bag's been over for a few weeks. It's still totally, it's not even close to being dried out. Um, you know, it's easy if it does dry out, it's not a big deal. If you're, you know, if you're out, you know, fish doing whatever, you drop it, you're not going to like, really be crying about it too much um i think it's a great i think it's a great tobacco um like i said burns well burns cool cut pretty good cut it's cut fairly similar to half and half pieces are a little bit longer i would say than half now but um it's a good tobacco so since we're outside i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab you and show you the start of my garden. I don't know why, it just feels right. So I'll show you what's going on. So this is a Codger blend review and a, uh, I don't know, garden vlog tour of the garden garden vlog i don't know something like that so last year that fence fell down we had a pretty nice pretty good storm we dumped like i don't even know six or eight inches in a few days and wind blew and blew the back my back fence down right there so we got that built chicken coop right there we got six chickens um so that blew down, so we had to re so I had to rebuild that, and then I had some extra had some extra fence boards and posts. So built a couple garden boxes. Hopefully you can see those pretty okay. Some garden boxes. 
right there. And then this is the Queensland. Now she was getting in the habit of uh, hopping up in that one, digging it out and sleeping in it. And I got uh, cucumber over there and I got zucchini right there, right? Cucumber there, zucchini right there. And this one doesn't have anything planted yet. I just got it prepped. <clears throat> so, like I said, she kind of got in the habit of uh, hopping in there. So I had to put some, that's lathing wire. Put some lathing wire around it just to keep her out of it. Cause she likes to hop up in there and take her naps. And then, uh, Oh, that was hard to do. Couldn't really see. And then over here, got some little cherry tomatoes right there. Little cherry tomatoes. That's for my my daughter and my wife. My daughter loves to come out, pick the cherry tomatoes off the tree, off the bush, and just eat them. And then right here, I got this uh, metal trough. And right there is a habanero. Right there are serranos. And over there is a bell pepper. So there you go. So I kind of get my garden a little spread out. I, I do this little trough. I do a couple little pots like that. And I do uh, those little garden boxes over there, as you can see right there. Just before the video, I put some more soil in this box here, so that's why the bag's there. And then obviously got kid stuff. And we were out, we had the kiddie pool out here, so we had the car, uh, chairs around this weekend. Um, this is a little climbing thing for the kid that I built, and then she can go in there and hang out. But yeah. That's pretty much it. And then along the back fence, uh, back there in those pots. Well, that is an old tomato bush. And then those ones are berries. So I got some strawberries over there. I got two different blueberries. I got two different... I got, and then I don't, can't remember which one's raspberries and blackberries, but... Um, they're still going strong. They're... Um, <clears throat> they uh, haven't really started to take off this spring yet, but I can see some... Little buds popping up on that. I, that one's a raspberry, I know that. So we got a little buds popping up on that raspberry, even though it looks dead and messed up. It's it's all right. Um, anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, velvet, I like it. I don't love it. It's uh, good, it's solid. Definitely we'll probably have some more. And uh, I think a good travel tobacco. That's what I'm going to call it. I think it's a good travel tobacco. Anyway, if you guys like seeing more of this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. Um, I know the backyard's kind of a mess, but, you know, got kids, got jobs, got busy family, got dogs. There's the other dog over there. That's an Australian Shepherd. I don't really know what he's trying to pick up. So we've got a Queensland and Australian Shepherd. They do all right. Hey, Tug. Hey, Tug. Her name's Tug, and that's Bear. Bear, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You say hi to the people? All right. Until next time, adios.